Balaji, thank you very much once again for giving us this exclusive, very special interview like every year after the budget. Uh, through our News 18 network, uh, through CNBC, CNBC Awaaz, uh, CNN News 18, uh, you will be able to reach every nook and corner of the country and investors are glued into moneycontrol.com tracking every twist and turn of the budget. Thank you so much. My first question, uh, a somewhat obvious question, uh, no SOPs, no populist measures. Even in 2019 interim budget, the government had announced some SOPs, you know, like tax rebates. There were some announcements for the farmers, but none this time. Uh, seems like a very confident prime minister going into 2024 elections. You've never looked more relaxed to me before. Uh, what was going on in your mind while drafting this? Well, thank you for having me uh, after the budget, like every year. It's a great opportunity to talk to your viewers and also for others who are watching uh, this program more with the keenness to know about the Indian economy. Yes, the budget yesterday did not have any SOPs announced. Um, we treated it like a true vote on account, an interim budget before an election, and also an interim budget which is being presented with the clear understanding that the several programs which were launched with empowerment of citizens in mind over the last 10 years are reaching the ground and the beneficiaries are already on their own speaking about it. The power of word of mouth is very strong. So when a beneficiary gets truly the benefit and without any middleman playing a role in it, they really understand that the intent of the government is what they've said is what is getting executed. So I place a lot of trust in the word of mouth, which has helped in schemes like Ujjwala, PM Awaz Yojana, PM Mudra Yojana, Swanidhi Yojana, all of which have benefited the small households, small uh, people who want to do their business and who don't have money to give for collateral, no properties to give. So this government has actually, because of the vision with which Prime Minister is committed to serve this country, is actually serving the common people in letter and spirit. And that is recognized by the people themselves. It's not as if you are saying, you are showing target numbers, you are showing achievement numbers. No.